Meet Mac Dugan. He once climbed the summit of Mount Everest in the span of four hours. I don't remember it quite that way. Matt Dugan had a pet cheetah growing up and was rumored to be able to outrun it. We did have a pet skunk. Her name was Stinker. Matt Dugan keeps his office below freezing just because. I don't want to make trouble for anybody and ask him to turn the heat up. I'll just freeze. Matt Dugan was the youngest person to become a team member at NASA at age 17. I applied to NASA when I was 16 years old. Two years later at 18, I get the letter seeking more qualified applicants. But you know what? At this point, sorry NASA, it's your loss. Matt Dugan is, well, Matt Dugan. My name is Matt Dugan. I'm the Vice President of Enterprise Data Technology here in the Chief Data Office, and I'm coming up on 15 years with AT&T. Mostly my day-to-day -day is meetings, uh, usually meetings followed by other meetings, occasionally pre-meetings for meetings, and then post-meetings for those meetings. And that's actually one of the things I want to change and drive away to the extent that we can. We've got a pretty awesome team, a little over 400 employees. It's a really fantastic team to get to work with and argue with on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the things that I think we have powerfully as a culture here is our ability to celebrate individuals at the same time as working with advanced technology with an intersection of business pressure. So you drive that sense of urgency. All of that comes together and if we do it right, we're an innovation group. And in that innovation, we're bringing that solution forward for AT&T. We're bringing data and AI to the forefront. And we are excited about it. And we're bringing other people along that journey with us. You don't find that anywhere else. At AT&T, the work follows the sun. One of the reasons is the kind of availability we need to have for our systems, our applications, our architecture. You know, we have India that's ahead of us. We sort of get that quiet period as it moves over the Atlantic and then it hits the East Coast on the way to the West Coast. And our California teams pick it up from there and we start it up again. So I grew up in the absolute middle of nowhere. Over and over again, from Washington to Kansas to Indiana to Georgia, for me, growing up, the places I wanted to work were Bell Labs. I'd like to see us bring that culture back, that culture of invention and innovation and free thought and working together no matter where you come from. But it's about creating this vision where our technology is on a continuous improvement cycle. We're not just looking for the next thing that we can hold on to for 10 years. One of the best places to be in the company is inside the Chief Data Office because of the kinds of technologies, the kinds of approaches that we get to use to solve problems here, and the kinds of people that we get to pull in. You will meet people that helped invent some of the technologies that are now foundational. It's so exciting. You grow by being around folks that can challenge you. As you can tell, I'm clearly not the most interesting person in the world, but this time in CDO, the amount of growth that I've had in this journey, I wouldn't trade it for anything else. It's all about the team. And that's where I've been at AT&T.